Hi again, I'm Lori from Ethel's God, Ethel's God Dog Training and Ethel's God Spirit. And we're here just with Aubrey and her dog Midnight. And Midnight is a rescue dog who was very high anxiety, very nervous and skittish. So these people, dog and person, are presenting us with this incredible opportunity to talk today about energy and how it relates to dog training. So, and not just dog training, but really to all living beings on the planet. Are you gonna hang out with us for a while, Midnight? So you can see even how he's leaning into her. This is his anxiety displaying, right? He's yeah. nervous. So let's just go into the concept of energy. Now, one thing we can do is we can be grateful because there are lots of prominent people in the dog training world these days speaking about energy and making it kind of a common everyday uh, uh, a, a topic now. We can just talk about em energy so easily and people generally understand what that means these days. But the idea of energy that people don't really understand, especially when it pertains to their own lives and to dogs, is that uh, energy is something that we capitalize on in any moment. Like right now, my energy is just I kind of have a lot of high energy. I'm very upbeat. And Aubrey's very sort of calm, relaxed energy. Right, Aubrey? Wouldn't you agree? So thing is, and you can take it even to a situation like this, we're in a dog park right now, sometimes dogs have conflicts in the dog park and they'll sort of start to like, their energies get into maybe a little chaotic energy. And then the people are in there too, sort of raising their energy level to kind of like, stop, stop, you, you, stop. Now you get this frenetic energy and everybody's capitalizing on this frenetic energy. Well, the problem with that is that energy works like this, like attracts like law of attraction, right? So when you talk about your energy and you want a dog to be calm, and you're talking about the leadership in an energy, uh, in a wolf pack, or even in the human pack, the human world, human society, that energy that you want to have, which is calm, cool, and collected, that's the energy of a leader, is that you have to have it before you can actually create it in the world around you. And this is true in dog training. So if the dogs are getting into a fight, in the example we just were talking about, the challenge then in that moment is not to dive into the energy of the fight, which is, stop it, everybody stop, yo, you, you, stop. Not to go there, but rather to go, excuse me, this is not appropriate behavior in our dog park. This is inappropriate, I'd like you to come with me. Now I understand that sounds really easy and simple, but we're talking about energy here, and the only way to get calm energy is to be the calm energy first. That's the rule of energy. So let's take this to one step further in the human world, because the dogs are actually here teaching us how to learn this. In the human world, when you see energy going on of a fight around you, maybe your parents or your family, or something going on in your corporate arena, a lot of political games, whatever's going on, or even you can take this even to the political world, lots of people in the House of Republicans and they're all fighting. If you want the, oh, we can even take this to a bigger picture. When you talk about the energy of um, fighting between continents or fighting between countries, if you want the fighting to stop, you have to stop fighting. So you have to assume the energy of peace before the fighting can stop. And when everybody starts to realize this on an interpersonal level, that we have to assume the energy of peace and harmony among each other, and then we can learn what the animals are here teaching us, which is about energy, which is have the energy that you want first and then create more of that. This is the law of attraction and action. It's the law of energy and it's the law of Wolfpack, Wolfpack society. That is the law of an effective leader is that you be calm and assertive, and that is the energy you carry with you at all times to create more of that. Make sense? Good. Okay, make sense? Yep. Yes, you're so calm. Thank you for being in our video. <laughs> I'm Lori Spagna from Ethel's God, Ethel's God Dog Training, and Ethel's God Spirit, where we believe there's a God in every dog's life, and we're just teaching what the dogs already know and are here to teach us. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.